Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Barry Chapel coming to you live from Los Angeles, California, here at the home of Primetime Shopping Network. I got an amazing show. I got coins. I got art. I got some amazing Michael Scofe. Oh, look at that wall. Yeah, look at this wall. That's Vincent Van Gogh. But you see the way they painted Vincent Van Gogh? You can only see the one ear he still has left. Did you know what he did with his other ear, Wilson? No. You really don't. No. He got upset. Some people said he might have had some. He cut it off and gave it to a hooker. And yeah, but they don't tell you the second part of the story. The hooker felt so bad. She came back. She's knocking on his door. He couldn't hear her. Ah, I'm joking. I have no idea what happened. But he literally got upset and cut his ear off. So it's a good thing Zach's on this unique one of one paints Van Gogh where you can see his good ear. And next to that are two uh, Disney etchings, hand watercolored. I got a lot of cool stuff. Got some cool coins. I'm just curious who's watching me early on, because here's what I want to do, Wilson. I want to stand up over here. Let me see what do we got. Miami Crown Distributors, check 1,000. Amanda, I don't know, I can't read her last name. Arnold Schwartzy, I guess. Uh, George Fonder. I'm, I'm just looking at some of these. It's a housekeeper. I'll tell you what. Let me go with the check 1000 right here. This was one of the toughest boxers that ever lived. Jake LaMotta. That is Jake LaMotta's autograph. He signed the check. And this check was check 1000, and that's made out to Miami Crown Distributors. Patty found this online. Here's a Jake LaMotta, same color, same type, same period. They wanted $252. Let's see. Yeah, there's one for $252. A couple hundred bucks is what Jake Lumata, but he just died not too long ago. He, uh, it's funny because I don't know if any of you saw the Raging Bull, but I was watching before the show started uh, Robert De Niro's acceptance speech for best actor for the Raging Bull. And he says, I'd like to thank, and he starts listing everybody, he says, I'd like to thank Vicky LaMotta, I'd like to thank the other actors' wives, and I'd like to thank Jake LaMotta, and, and I'd also like to thank Joey LaMotta, who is currently suing us. <laughs> you know, so here is a check. Tell you what, Patty, what do you think this is worth? I don't know either. Start at zero, what do you think? $50 increments. Start at zero. There is Jake LaMotta's autograph on a check to the Miami Crown Distributors. And I have no idea what item number this is. BC 263. I'm just curious if anybody's watching me. Well, take his time, because I got some amazing art. I got some original Michael Schofield, but I want to get myself in trouble. Jake LaMotta. That's actually three words. Jake, J-A-K-E, space, capital L, then lowercase a, space, Mata. 
M O T T A. And it's going to say Jake Lamata Sky Right Inc. Yeah, value 250 plus. Anybody want to want to own a Jake Lamata check? I am going to ascertain that right now, Ashley. When did boxer Jake LaMotta die? Jake LaMotta died September 19, 2017 at age 95 in Miami. Wow. He made it to 95. That's impossible. They beat him senseless. All right. No one is going to open for $50. That is the Jake LaMotta. That is a check Jake LaMotta wrote. Yeah, I got some cool coins, got some gold coins, got some Oleg serographs, got a lot of stuff. No one on a Jake LaMotta check. All right. I'm curious. Patty, what do you think is going to happen? I'm only going to do this once. Two checks. It's not one check. It's now two checks. Both signed by Jake LaMotta, different company. I mean, made out to different people. Two checks, $50 to open. But I'm only going to give this about 10 seconds because I can't afford to put two checks up. All right, no open. That's okay. Camera two. Um, one of the one of my favorite artists that I've known for well over twenty five years is Michael Schofield. I call him the rascal, but Michael Schofield is one of the all time greats. He is in the billion with a B billion dollar Arm and Hammer collection. They have some of the finest PhDs on the planet picking art for in PhDs in art, picking art to go in. The Arm and Hammer collection and Michael Schofield's work is in there. He's also in the Smithsonian. He's in the Library of Congress collection. And what I want to do, we got to be very gentle here, Wilson. I want to show this right here. What is the item number of this? Twenty six. 2622. And it is an original watercolor by Michael Schofield. What size do you think that is? And before I auction this off, I want to show everybody who Michael Schofield is. How what? How much? 11. 11 inches by 11 by 18. Now, I'm going to go back to Cameron 2. What I want to do, Adrian, just like, do you ever see Rocky? Yeah. <laughs> you saw Rocky. Yeah, then you get. I'll tell you what, this is not that long. It gives you a great idea who Michael Schofield is. Then I'm going to auction off some works. I'm going to start at zero. Take a look at this. I'm Michael Schofield. I'm a, uh, an Impressionist landscape artist. Landscapes are probably what I enjoy doing the most. And I think one of the reasons I enjoy doing what I do is because I enjoy being in nature. 
Landscapes to me speaks to, uh, speaks to who and what I am. I enjoy the outside. I love looking at different parts of the country. Every different part of the country is, is unique in its area. Landscapes are, are what I enjoy painting more than anything else. When I'm looking at a landscape, the first thing I do is to see the depth of the piece and how I'm gonna create the depth. How am I gonna create the foreground and the middle ground and the, and the background? And what it is that I'm gonna to have to do in order to jump over the hurdles it's gonna take in order to get that particular scene on, on canvas. Do I frame it right to left? Do I move these trees here? Do I, do I bring a brook through the center of the piece? Do I bring it from left to right? You know, what's intriguing about this particular scene? Taking out all of the small details that don't make any sense and just getting the essence of the piece, that's what I do. That's what I envision when I first see the, the landscape. I think an artist's job is to interpret what the creator has laid out for us. We're just basically taking snapshots of that, interpret, putting in our own interpretation of it, our own feelings, our own emotions, and then presenting that to the viewers or to the public. That's art to me. So it really is just a, it's a statement of of what we are and who we are, and it's translated through, in my case, landscapes. The idea of becoming an artist um, didn't really hit until high school. And it was one of those rainy days when the music instructor was filling in for the English teacher that couldn't make it to, to school. So he, um, he whipped out his watercolor um, palette and, and paints and a piece of watercolor paper and did a demonstration um, right in the class. And that was his way of filling in for, for the teacher. And well, I watched him do that. And I, could, I still remember what he painted. He painted an old railroad ties and some water in between the ties and a couple of trees above it and reflecting in the water. And I thought, Wow, that's, I really, that's what I want to do. Your life changes quickly, and your and the direction changes quickly. Um, and then I think a lot of it is just following the path. Uh, we don't choose our career; it chooses us. I think that's very true. Uh, I think as long as you keep moving, that that career will catch up to you, or you you'll find the right the right spot to walk into, or the right the right uh, position to be in at the right time. You know, the doors open; you walk through them, see what see what's on the other side. I did a couple of one-man shows down in Florida. I think probably one of the more interesting one was what I did in Cleveland, a real, real wet, cold, snowy night. I really didn't think that I would have anybody show up for the show because it was so cold and miserable. We ended up having 1,100 people show up for the for the uh, for the event. We sold almost everything in the in the uh, the entire show, and the party didn't stop until about one, two o'clock in the morning. And uh, those were fun. We had a lot of people show up in those in those particular in those days. All throughout Tennessee, Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, I did that for probably ten years. There was a lot of shows.
the most posters I think I had in one particular catalog was um, about 25. Back in the 90s, I think there was, uh, there was a few catalog companies that had uh, 10 or 15, but I think um, Editions Limited had uh, up to about 25 pieces. Interestingly enough, some of the pieces are still in catalogs dating back into the, into the early 90s. And then you start to realize that you know, all the millions of posters you're, you're selling happen to find their way in front of the public. And I think that's when you start to realize that uh, you're actually fairly famous in this, in this game. I spent 10 years in, in Nashville, in that area. And I think a lot of the subject matter that I, that I paint today comes out of that era and out of that area. Um, Tennessee and Kentucky and Alabama, Mississippi, and even upstate New York. I love that area up there. You know, big pines, the big beech trees, the big birches. I think a lot of that uh, that I do today is reminiscent of those areas and of that subject matter. I paint in California quite a bit too, um, like, like today. Um, those, those areas I think are what I enjoy painting the most. One of the more difficult things is painting on location. A lot of people say, well, you got everything right in front of you. Well, you have too much in front of you. The artist has to take all of the elements, eliminate the things you don't need in the painting, and just paint the things that you do need. And you have to deal with the light changing. It changes rapidly. You're painting the shadows on one tree and all of a sudden they're not there anymore. So you have to take a mental snapshot of the area that you're looking at and then paint that, because it's gonna change five minutes from now. I think my paintings, they tell hope, and they tell adventure, and mystery, and romance, and I've been fortunate, really fortunate, to paint something that people really enjoy and, and feel and get uh, inspired from and fall in love with. And I like the growing aspect of becoming a better and better artist. Uh, I don't think you ever arrive as an artist. I think you're always arriving. You're eventually going to get there. I think eventually um, I'll, I'll get to a point where I feel comfortable with the work. I don't think I'll ever be satisfied completely with it. I like the idea that somebody can see one of my paintings and see a part of nature that they've been in, a place that they, they're familiar with, a scene that they know from, from childhood or some, some time in a vacation, something like that. That's when I feel like what I do actually rings home. That's important to me. They can actually relate to the landscape. So um, the communication between the painter and the, the viewer is what's important. Hi folks, I'm back with you. That's Michael. Now I want to show you something. I'm going to walk over to this original watercolor. Now his oil paintings are very expensive. This was Hubs Historical, 11-15-2007. One of his Poplar Groves sold for $48,500. Here is right here. Here's a watercolor. All right, this is called After the Rain Watercolor by Michael Schofield, $5,000, and it is 27 by 30.
Here is an oil on canvas right there, 42,000. Now I want to, I'm look, I want everybody this first hour to uh, enjoy. Take a look at this. Michael Schofield signed watercolor. Tell you what I'm going to do. Ashley, it's got an item number, right? Yeah. Start at zero, $100 increments. I just showed you a $5,000 quote on one a little bigger called After the Rain. Retail on this, probably thirty-eight to 4000 3800 4000 It's an original watercolor done by Michael Schofield. Don't pay 3800 to 4000 because right now the bid's at zero. I'm looking for $100. I got some Oleg Saragraphs, got some very rare Azule, got some Michael Schofield oil on canvas, I got Azule Four Seasons, uh, got all kinds, got some Graham Stevenson, got some Zach. Uh, I'm at zero, no one's going to open an original Michael Schofield. Sign Michael Schofield. He's 76 years old, and I'm just looking for a hundred dollars. Ashley, you see what's happening to me? What's that? You see what's happening to me? I'm done. I'm finished. Two. The scrap heap. You know what happens, Wilson? Do you know what happens on June 21st? You have a 500. Thank you. We have the open at 500. You know what happens on June 21st? I finish my 32nd year on TV and start my 33rd. Yeah, if I could get a record for that, I could put it next to nicotine gumball and oh man. This is crazy, $500 going once. $500 going twice. Fair. I have more coming up. Hey, but Patty, I got some more to start at 100 in a second. 500 going once, twice, sold. Put up the yellow house. Now, folks, here's what. Here is another, Michael Schofield. And what is the size and item number on this one, Ashley? Oh, that was a pretty one. 2622. And is this the same size? Uh, yeah, this is 3500. Well, three to four thousand. I'll tell you what. The same item number, please. Yes, you got it. And this is exactly the same size. Start at zero, $100 increments. Uh, Ashley, what, what would you charge to frame that one? We just okay. Now I'm starting at zero. This is the yellow house. This is like the big house that Wilson spent so many years in. Going why, 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 oh, why, oh, did I confess to that police officer in Ohio? That's what Wilson was wondering in the big house. Not the big house, the yellow house. I don't have an open. I'm going to rip this one down so fast. I don't want to hurt it. Can you show that bridge? Camera up here, Wilson. Here, I'm going to try this one. This was Michael Schofield's archive this was painted in 2003 Wilson I know you've had a tough life what is the size on the same size and what is that size 11 by 18 Wilson you need to own this piece Wilson you know why do you have any idea Wilson 
because that's a bridge, a bridge over what, Wilson? A bridge over troubled water, which you seem to be swimming in. Not since you were a little kid. Yes, yeah, since you were a baby till now. And after the show is over, how does Wilson make extra money? What does he do? You even put the makeup on for him, Ashley. <laughs> Not anymore? Okay. Look, you got a $3,504,000 Michael Schofield. I am starting it at zero, $100 increments. That's an original watercolor. Just like the comp I showed you at $4,000 or $3,500. Let's see if anybody is interested. We have the open. We have $100. We're going to call that Wilson Creek. That is a bridge over troubled water. That's a winery. Okay. Yeah. 200. 200. This is Wilson's Creek. The rapid waters running through the sands of time. I'm at two. This is nothing. This is an original watercolor. Oh, folks. I got a great show coming your way tonight. Looking for three. Two hundred going once. What are they? This is so cheap. I'm not going to do many of these. So you got you got a four thousand dollar thirty five hundred to four thousand dollar Schofield watercolor, and look at that. It's beautiful. And who are we waiting on? Who is that? Mr. B, what do you think? What I'm going to do next. Going once. 300. 300. That's so cheap. Going once. What did you do to the back there? You caused interference on my wall. 300 going twice. You see that, Wilson? It's like the exorcist. All in. All said. Sold to Mr. B. Thank you, Mr. B. <laughs> this was done in 2003. This is an oil on canvas. Five, six, eight. This is what's in the billion dollar Arm and Hammer collection. This is stunning. It is called Calm Creek. It is 24 by 30. That is an oil on canvas. I have known Michael for the better part of 25 years or longer. He used to uh, paint for Stephen J. Canal Productions. What was one of your favorite TV shows, Wilson, in the 70s? 70s. The 70s. You know, after the 60s, before the 80s, the <laughs> 70s. You didn't watch much TV. Why not? I had other activities going on. Drugs, probably. He said he has other activities. Why do I think the worst of you? Wait, were you talking drugs? No, a little bit. Oh, because Canal, Stephen J. Canal produced the Rockford Files with James Gardner, one of my favorite. Emergency One, Rescue. And Stephen J. Canal Productions, um, you would see scenes, and now when they do reruns, every now and then you see a Michael Schofield in the background. You're going, wow, that was possibly one he did for Stephen J. Canal Productions. But this is one that he painted in 2003. You're talking 
you know, 25,000 on a Michael Schofield. But here's what I'm going to do. That's oil on canvas. Oh, I'm going to make something happen here on this. This is, this is so amazing. That's a pretty painting. I tell you, she's like the exorcist. You see that, Wilson? She touched the... Tell you what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Folks, this is amazing. This is an original. Is it still broken? You fixed it. I've never seen it like that. Did you ever see uh, The Omen with little Damien? She's like little Damien. She touches the back wall and it starts zzzz. Uh, yeah, I got a $25,000 Michael Schofield here. Tell you what I'm going to do. I hope you're out there. I'm going to make this first hour special for somebody. That's oil on canvas. It is signed on the front. It is signed on the back. Schofield 03. Tell you what I'm going to do. This is too cheap. Only the first hour. 1500 to open. That is an original... Michael Schofield. That is a oil on canvas. 1500 to open. He painted this 20, 19 years ago. Oh, that's oil on canvas by Michael Schofield. I got a lot of cool stuff here tonight. I hope you think it's cool. Oh, well, I'll tell you what I am going to try then. What? What about one of these large ones first? All right, I am going to move. Okay, I am going to take this one down. This is a watercolor done. And you can see it's probably done a while ago by Michael Schofield. It is large. Did he sign it? Let's look on the back. It's not signed, so forget that idea for now. Look at that last on the, is that signed? All right, take a look at this. One large watercolor by Michael Schofield. I got such a... I hope you guys think it's interesting. Yes, I have some Oleg serigraphs. 22. Well, I don't think that's... <laughs> oh, boy, if you measure me like that, I'd be in trouble. 22 by 30. <laughs> All right. 22 by 30. Tell you what, guys. This, when I showed you that one for four grand, I don't even know if it was, it's probably this big. But After the Rain by Michael Schofield. Here, I'll tell you, I got it right here. After the Rain. It's going to be that one. It was 27 by 30, 5,000 on our brokerage, 5,000 best offer. I'll tell you what, list price 5,000. Start at zero patty cakes, $100 increments. 
Yeah, list five grand. But you guys tell me what you want to pay for it. Oh, I have some great Azulays. He's the king of the line. That is a huge watercolor by the Michael Schofield. 76 years old. He finally let me buy his archival collection here. And there ain't many. And look at the size of that. Look at how the colors blend in that little pond of melted snow. Look at that. We have $100. You want to see a $5,000 Michael Schofield watercolor, you're looking at it. Do you look all right to you last time you saw him, Patty, or do you look a little, a little? A little tired. I was more worried about the purple fingertips. <laughs> Just that's mean. He didn't have purple fingertips. I'm at a hundred dollars on the largest Michael Schofield watercolor that he painted a long time ago in his archival collection, the collection of what he thought was the best work he ever did. I'm at $100. Say it ain't so. No, not over there. Patty, you got anybody in the back? What do you say, Patty? 200 has been bid. We got two. Let's see if anybody makes it. This is one of the largest. 300. This is the largest watercolor I have tonight, and I'm at $300 on legendary artist Michael Schofield. I'm at $300. Oh, Wilson, cry me a river of tears. I have no idea. You know, this is his archive collection of what he thought was best. I am going to quickly move away from Michael Schofield's. I'm only at 300, not 4,000, not 5,000 like after the rain on our brokerage. I am at $300. What do they say? He was going to. Okay. 400. 400. 400 has been bid. I'm down to one now. They're trying to, I don't know, they're, they're good customers. It's not their fault. You know whose fault it is, Wilson? It's Ashley's. She's a demon. Yeah, let's not laugh. $400. Juliet, who is your customer? Louis. Mr. H. Oh, hey, Mr. H. Well, thank you, Mr. H. Going once to Mr. H. Going twice to Mr. H. This is crazy money. Not good money. Crazy for me. This I'm losing. But anyway, all in, all said, sold to Mr. H. Ashley, can you hand me an Oleg serigraph? Uh, how about what? Uh, I don't keep them anymore. <laughs> Every time I have, I've gotten busted for it, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna touch that with a. Oh, look at this. This is art brokerage. This is art brokerage right here, Oleg Javetin. I just want to show you something. These are the silk screens. 
Like here's one. Uh, retail price, print, silk screen on paper, 3400 eight, 17 years ago. Now I'm going to find this one right here. Secrets. Uh, those are originals. Here, let me go to the next page. Here we go. Look at this. $2,000. 17 years ago for Riviera Sinatra Serenade, I'm sorry, Swift, Swift Flight Tender Heart 2,200. Visit in the garden. And so this is. Oleg Javetin, artist proof 5 of 10. But it's got a little wear on the paper. Just a little bit of wear on the end. You're talking a $2,500 signed and numbered piece. Yeah, uh, where's the item number on this? Two six one one. What? Two six one two. Two six one. Two six one two. So the item number is two six one two. All right. Isn't that what I said the first time? Yeah. All right. Just double checking. Um, you got a list of twenty five hundred. Tell you what, this is a cool one. You guys set the price. That is a signed and numbered Oleg Javetin done 17, 16, 17 years ago. It is number artist proof 5 of 10. Start at zero, $100 increments. I don't come across much of his collector's editions work. They were all sold out. And to find an Oleg serigraph, look how nice it is. It is gorgeous. That's what Oleg does better than anybody on the planet. He was born in Uzbekistan. He got a college degree in Uzbekistan by the time he was 18. Then he applied to the Surikov in Moscow. The Surikov is one of the greatest art schools on the planet, named after uh, Sergei Ivanovich Surikov. Oleg we have the open, we have a hundred. Um, Ole got his master's degree in art from the Surikov for his ability to put different geometrical shapes in the painting. 200 has been bid. Look at that. Oleg Javetin. We are at 200, looking for more. Oh, this is going to go cheap. $200 going once. Oh, they're getting a steal. Who is that, Patty? Chopper. 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 I, uh, you got a deal and a half going once. We are verifying. Hang on, Chopper. Don't be mad at me. Be mad at Ashley. Yeah. Tell Chopper it wasn't my fault. I didn't say verifying. Mr. B. Yeah. Mr. B. Yes or no or two. This is dirt cheap. We're going to make it three. Yeah. Then I got a big show coming up tonight. Okay. 200. Once. 200. Twice, 
fair. And final warning. All in. All said. Sold. Oh, you got that. Now, here is an Oleg to fight for. Look at the size of this Oleg serograph. I'm going to put it upright. Look at that heart. Okay. Little bit of paper damage, but nothing that won't go away when you mat it out. Oleg Javetin. Number artist proof five of ten. He did this for collector's editions. BC 2611. The three graces. This is a $3,500 collector's edition serograph. Look at that. That is signed and numbered, and it is artist proof 5 of 10. And Wilson, I want them to see just a few little ruffles on the bottom of the paper, which is nothing when you frame it. You just mat that right down there, and it will be fine. This is and a little bit on the top. This is some 30 years old or 25 years old when he worked for Collector's Editions. Start at zero. Start at zero, $100 increments on the three graces. I think I have a comp on that. Uh, yeah, look at that. I'm starting. This is signed and numbered serograph. Look at that. And, oh, I got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Got some Graham Stevenson, some Disney art. I don't have an open yet. On the three graces done by collector's editions a long, long time ago. This is crazy. This is a $25, 35 $4,500. What's that? Is he going to open? No. Okay. No one's going to open. I'm, I'm going to run like this. How much? No, she doesn't. Yes, she does. All right, Juliet's got 200. It was too obvious. I'm trying to save myself. This is going to be a wrong timing auction, Patty. 200. Looking for a lot more. The three graces done by Oleg Javetin. I'm at 200, looking for 300. I am at $200, looking for 300. Let's go in twice. Fair. And final warning, all in, all said, sold. Boy, someone got a heck of a deal on that. Now, look at this, BC 2618. That is a hand watercolored etching, excuse me, done by Disney artist. That's Pluto in love. I'm sorry, I didn't say it right. 
Pluto in love. Now, who are the artists on this for Disney? No, say it again. Zoa? Zoa and Riser. Now, this is a hand watercolor Disney etching. If you went to the Disney store, look at that. They numbered it. They signed it. They wrote the title on that with a very little pencil. Yeah, this is like 12 to 1400 at a Disney store. And this is really old Disney stuff. But I'll tell you what. Start at zero. Retail, $1,400, $1,500. But watch this. Start at zero. $100 increments. As that seems to be my theme the first hour. That's good and bad. The good news is I've honored it for 50 minutes. The bad news is I only got 10 minutes left of this madness. Nine minutes left, Wilson. Who wants... Oh, look at that. Pluto in love. Have you ever been to a Disney store, Wilson? Patty? They want billions of dollars. And Riser and the other artist hand painted this. They did an etching. See that embossing mark? That square around Pluto? They did an etching of Pluto. Then they hand watercolored it. And they, look at that, they signed it, they did everything, they numbered it. No open once. Oh, that's crazy. No open twice. Fair. And final, what's that? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to move Pluto in love to Mickey just going, Hi, I'm Mickey. Man, I used to be able to read those numbers. I cannot see what the addition size. Mickey Mouse. Here. You got like a telephoto lens there, Wilson. This is BC2619. Look at that one. What is it? 404 or 500. 404 or 500. And what's the title, though? Oh. This is 1400 and 500. All right. These are like 1500 a piece. This title is Mickey. Hand watercolored etching. Started zero, $100 increments. Yeah, I got some Morgan dollars, got some gold coins, got a lot of cool stuff. I hope, I hope you guys think it's cool. No open once. Here's what I'm going to do. Ashley? Yeah. All right. And this will end the, well, I got a few more things. This first hour, but take a look at this. Both of them. Pluto in love. And Mickey. Now, I don't think Pluto's in love with Mickey. I think Pluto's in love. Who is Pluto's girlfriend? I don't know. I don't think that's the correct answer, but thank you for playing. No, I don't think it's Winnie the Pooh either. 
Start at zero for both of them, $100 increments. Not one, but two hand colored Soho and Riser. What's that? Dinah is his girlfriend? So Pluto has got hearts for Dinah. All right. Does Dinah know this? They kissed. Okay. In 1933, who was his girlfriend? Fifi. Fifi. And Fifi was Minnie Mouse's dog. Then what happened to Fifi? Because he moved on to Dinah. I am at zero for not one, but for both. But I only have five minutes of five minutes. And then I get my reinforcements. I get Dish Network. And I want to thank everybody. This is both of them, not one at a hundred each. Uh, the increments you're getting both for a hundred dollars to open. You're getting Mickey and Pluto in love. No open once. No, open twice. Fair and final warning. Any interest in these two, Disney, Razor and something? Okay. Well, I have probably done an awful job explaining how Pluto is in love. Is it obvious to you, Wilson? You don't think those hearts make it obvious that Pluto is in love? What else could a cartoonist do on an etching to show you Pluto's in love? Have a box of chocolates? Ah. No open on both of these going once. No open on both of these. You're getting not one, but two. Have you ever been in love, Wilson? Have you ever been in love? How'd it work out? Good. I was once too. But I made the mistake of taking her to the zoo. She got eaten by a tiger. All right, she did get eaten by a tiger. I tried to feed her to the tiger. No. Do you have the open on this? No open on this once. No open on both of these twice. Fair and final no open on the Disney pieces. What do you think I should show? I got a rare Zax. Tell you what, I am going to gently put these Disney pieces right there. Oh. Uh, Tell you what. Ooh. Mm. What would you show? You see another Schofield you want to start at zero, $100 increments? Pick a unique one. You know how you spell unique? Put a fisherman up there. He painted that in 2003. Yeah, you know, do you know how to spell unique? Yes. Uniq. 
Yes, what is wrong with these English teachers? I before E, and then they come up with UniQ. To mean it's out of the ordinary. All right, this is, what is the atom number on this one? Two what? Two six two two. It is a. Um, that's a pretty cool one. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Let's just sell this one. Start at zero. One hundred dollar increments. That's a five thousand dollar watercolor, according to our brokerage, and it is a fisherman. It is a watercolor done by Michael Schofield. He did it in 2003, and he signed Michael Schofield on the front. Started zero, $100 increments. Then I got a lot of really cool stuff to show you. I just sold both of them. That's it. Sorry. I might have another original painting in about a week and a half. Anybody going to open Michael Schofield painting a fisherman? Well, he's not painting the fisherman. He's painting a scene of a person fishing. Looking for $100 on a $4,500 Michael Schofield. Going once at zero. Going twice at zero. <sighs> Looking for an open of a hundred dollars. We have a hundred, thank you. How come Kiki Maroon doesn't work my show anymore? What do you mean she got that famous off of her film? Did you did she invite you to the grand opening? No. I could <laughs> no. I had not ever been to a grand opening at an XXX theater. So I didn't go. No, I have not. She does not do porn movies that I know of. <laughs> Wilson, do you know of any? <laughs> we have the open. Oh, this is crazy money. $100. $200 has been bid. We're at two, and I thank all of you for watching me tonight. Am I on Dish Network? How much? Three hundred. Hello, Dish Network. Barry Chapel coming to you live here in Los Angeles, the home of Primetime Shopping Network. I am down to one bidder at three hundred dollars. These are original watercolors by Michael Schofield. Watch this going once, going twice. And it is, what is it, Ashley? Sold! <laughs> Don't mean to scare anybody. But I had Dis I had Pluto in love, and nobody even called up to buy it. All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. You want to see something that is beyond beautiful? This is one of the greatest drawings I ever saw. And I knew Graham Stevenson for quite a while. This is an original pencil drawing done by the late Graham Stevenson. Graham Stevenson died June 5th, 2022. Literally a year and a day and two days ago. He died of a rare neurological disease. In the last phone call I had with him, he said to me, he said, 
how's your family taking it? And he said, well, my mom asked me, why can't you at least catch something I can pronounce? What is it? Oh, you got these unlucky numbers. 606 or 609? Oh, 606. I told you she's a devil. She really is, Wilson. You know how you can tell if Ashley's a devil? Patty, do I know? On her pinky and the and her ring finger next to it, if she has hair growing on the knuckles, she's the devil. And if she checks, she's certainly it. Yeah, she's looking. She's got it. All right. Folks, this is one of the most gorgeous Graham Stevensons. He died a year and two days ago, a year and a day ago. He died June 5th, 2022 of a rare neurological disease. He filmed a series called Put Some Color in Your Life that aired in 17 different countries. Graham Stevenson was born in, in, in Australia and from Australia, his teaching, his shows made it around the world and 17 different countries. If you just Google search, put some color in your life, you'll see Graham Stevenson. I would put this, a retail on this at eight to 10,000 because this was one of the pieces that Park West Galleries, they signed him and then he got this rare disease but this is one of the pieces they love best at Park West. Once again, he died a year and a couple days ago. Um, I'll tell you what, that is unbelievable. And we have the size, it's frame. Tell you what, look at what they want for Graham's work. Tell you what, start at 500 to open. $100 increments. This, that is a beautiful. I only have two Graham Stevensons left on this planet. Look at that. Pencil drawing by the Graham Stevenson. So many artists, artists like Janet Thatcher and others would go on. He'd, he'd get to them, they'd, they'd film them painting he'd ask questions and that is absolutely amazing oh I got some rare Ashley I got a lot I got some rare coins I got some 1891, an 1891-0, and an 1891-S Morgan dollar. Graded by PCGS. All right, I'll tell you what. No open on this one, which is amazing. But I'll tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to show you one of Graham Stevenson's fantasy style that he was working on. And Wilson saw it. She touched the back screen. And what happened, Wilson? It fizzled. Yeah, yeah, that's what happened. This right here is original pencil drawing. And that was one of Graham's fantasy style. I'm gonna, someone's going to call and buy that watch. 560. And he has all kinds of theories about the arc and how that is a key to art and has been. He signed it Graham Stevenson. This, some of the characters he used in other pieces. Tell you what, I hope that, I mean, this is, Graham died June 5th, 2022. Put some color in your life, played in 70 different countries total if you add up the different times it played 70 different countries 
tell you what. I hope you're out there. $300 to open. $100 increments once we get the open. What did you do to that? You see that, Wilson? I'm going to show it to you, Wilson, but do not, don't stare into that light. Whatever you do, Wilson, don't look at that light. Now you want to look at the light, don't you? You want to see what happens? No one's opening on an original Graham Stevenson, a deceased artist who died, who had, had, is one of the most famous Australian artists. Uh, in 2014, he received the Medal of the Order of Australia, the highest honor the country of Australia can bestow on an artist. Very few artists have ever won that award. He did. And I have no open once, no open twice, How long, Adrian, is my Azule? I have a couple of docudramas, but I'm just curious because I might not use it. I'm going to save this. And here's what I am going to do. Uh, I got, I'll tell you. Can you bring that big Azule over here? Okay. Ashley was right. She launched head first into the truth, into the future. Do we have the open? We have the open, Adrian. We have 300. 300 looking for 400. What? No. Now, look at that. She looked at the back, Wilson, and the lights. Look at that. People don't believe me. Go to camera two. Look. Ashley looked at the, ah. She's the devil. And look at that. I'm not, I'm giving, yeah. I'm giving. 300 going once. Yeah, you got to sell this quick, Chapel, before she, uh. You know, there had, now, this, is, this is somewhat true. I don't know the exact numbers, but before Linda Blair and The Exorcist came out, 300 going twice, fair, final warning, sold. No, 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 okay, well, uh, they had had like virtually no exorcisms in the Catholic Church for a long time. Then the movie The Exorcist came out, and they had like 150 people that wanted an exorcism. Hand me Harlequin horses. If you like Azule, Guillaume Azule, the king of the line. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I can't throw this book in, but I will get you an Azulay book. It's called Along the Lines, Guillaume Azulay. He was born in Casablanca, Morocco. And I'll tell you what I am going to do. Say what? 2617. Look at that. That is gold leaf, hand laid gold leaf. And this is not a little piece. What is the size on this piece? 50. 32 and a half by 50. Hand laid gold leaf. What number would this happen to be, Wilson? Does that say number one? 20. Printer's proofs. Look at that. 
probably, I'm trying to guess how many colors, but first they do the silk screen and the different colors and they hand lay the gold leaf. Oh, this is fantastic. This is a sold out rare edition. The last time I believe it was in Print World Guide, it was 5,500 and they have number one of the printer's proof. Guillaume Magellet was born in Casablanca, Morocco. Now, what is so important about Guillaume Magellet is that he is, and I got it right here, hang on. I separated all this out and I'm already losing it. See, that's my... All right, hang on. I got it. Sundered. I got to move that out of the way. Here it is. Guillaume Azulay. I want to show you some works he's done and some letters written on his behalf about him. Now, look at this. This is about Guillaume Azulay. Look at his major private collection, collectors. Ronald Reagan, it's now the late President of the United States. His Majesty Hassan II, King of Morocco. The Royal Highness Princess of Morocco. Look at this next one, Yitzhak Novin former Prime Minister of Israel, Anwar Sadat, late President of Egypt, Francois Mitterrand, the Baron Robert de Rothschild, and you go down the list. He is the youngest artist to ever be accepted into the Bibliothèque Nationale, the archival collection of the Louvre. Here are some comps on his work. Here is Buster Keaton, a pen and ink drawing, $9,500. Here is $12,500 Transcendence. Camargue, who a lot of people say Guillaume kind of put that word on the map. It was a region and part of France where they had a special type of horse and Azulay started calling him the Camar horse. And nowadays I think they call him that. There's number one, 12,500. Here is Camar State 2 etching. Look at that, $16,000. And these are, you know, 20 by 30 pieces. This is a 50 inch hand laid gold. Here is a letter from the Louvre. Says, we would like to inform you that the Museum de Louvre, Paris, November 14, 1978, would like to include two of your pieces, uh, Camargue Artist Proof and Andine Artist Proof into the National Library. That'd be one thing if that was it, but uh, here's a letter from James Gardner. Here is the Museum de Louvre. Look at this. An acceptance letter into the Bibliothèque Nationale. Look at that. Images one, two, three, and four. And du Chavot have been accepted into the permanent archival collection of the Louvre. Unheard of. The youngest living artist to ever be accepted into the Bibliothèque Nationale. Retail on something like this in today's market. 12 to 15,000. That is number one of 20, printer's proof. 
This is huge. If you are an Azure fan, this might be your only chance to ever get a gold leaf silk screen. And Guillaume Azule lays the gold. He does it, he loves to do it. Well, he, he gets in a zone when he does it. Ashley, where would you start something like this? Because this is as rare as they come. Yes. Your thirty-five hundred is too cheap. It's got a retail of twelve to fifteen thousand. You want to open it at thirty-five hundred? Ooh, look at that! Hand laid gold, printer's proof, number one of twenty. Done in twenty ten. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do, and this is too cheap, please, I hope people are watching, this is way too cheap, $1,200 to open on the largest serigraph that Azule has probably ever done, or one of the largest. Every different color that had to dry overnight. And they take a polyester or silk screen and tape where you don't want color to go. Very hard process. That's too cheap. $1,200 on this is too cheap. I made a mistake. I just wanted to get some action. And that is, oh my goodness. That is one of the largest serographs Guillaume Azule has ever done. No open once. No open twice. And I'm going to move away from this because I'm going to lose a fortune if I stay on this piece. I should have opened it at twice that. Ashley, can you hand me... Uh, where are the four, the winter, summer, fall, and... Yes. Yes. And you saw a comp on our brokerage, what they want? 3200 Okay, I am holding on. Uh oh. Okay. This is on canvas. It is signed. Guillaume Azule, and it is numbered. Museum edition, 33 or 35 of 125 on canvas. These are the four seasons. What season is that? I don't know. Could be winter. Well, what is this one right below it? Here, I'll tell you what. Let's show them all four. 
because of course it's a matching number suite. Oh, look at this. Stunning. Number 35 of 125. Here, this is the Four Seasons Suite done by Guillaume Ajoulet. Look at this. On canvas. Look at that. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, that will give me time to arrange this. Ashley, can you hold? I don't know which one that is, but there's a little, uh, like a dragon. I don't know what summer the dragon comes out. Look, beard by the tail. Yes, thank you. We have, we have the open at twelve hundred. Way cheap. You don't see that's a crab. I uh, where is the dragon? Yes. I have no idea. It could be a horse. Thank you. We have twelve hundred, which is way cheap. Going once. Oh, that's cheap. Who's getting this, Ashley? Uh, Ashley, Patty. Terry. Uh, oh, now Patty's giving me the evil eye. 1,200 going once, going twice. Fair. Final warning. Sold. Thank you. Camera two, thank you. That's a hard piece to get. That is... All right. Now, can you look what I'm going to try and do, which I'm not sure I have ever had the manual dexterity. You figured out which one was summer? Which one? So show me summer. All right. I don't know. All I know is Krusty Crab. <laughs> he owns the. Uh, we never saw our stuff on here. Oh yeah. What is Krusty Crab? What is her restaurant? Krusty Crab. Krusty Crab. Yeah. I haven't seen this. The sponge. Have you seen the SpongeBob movie? I never saw the SpongeBob movie. Oh my goodness! I hope it worked out. You know, and I don't want to. I don't want to spat uh, aspersions, but Patrick ain't the brightest. Yeah, you know the starfish. All right, folks, where is that comp you had? You gave me a. I want to show you what other people charge for this. Thank you, Terry. I thought you 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 might have given it to me. We we found on our brokerage one set for thirty two hundred. I don't know if you got all four of them, but here's what I'm going to do. These are on canvas. The four season portfolio, done by Guillaume Azulay. Oh, look at this. Yeah. To, oh, look at this. All four pieces, matching number. What's that? For all four. Oh. Yeah, we got comps 4,500, 3,200, 5,500. And this is for all. I don't even know if that's for one or all. Here's what I'm going to do. Oh, have fun with this, folks. Not for one, not for two, not for three, 
but all four pieces, 1,500 to open on all four of the auto of the uh, season suite by Guillaume Agelet. Did you ever see that movie, Wilson, Almost Famous? Jim Cavill. They played a rock band that traveled by bus and they made a few. Would well, you remember what everybody, what's that? We have the open, thank you. That, that everybody that spoke to William Miller's mother would say, William, we have a call for you, William Mil Miller. I got to tell you, your mother freaked me out. I'm looking at that TV in the back. You see that, Wilson? She freaked me out. She said, what's that? Billy Crewup. Kate Hudson. Can I show to the people of the world what you did, Ashley? This is why I think we need to get her some help. All she did, Wilson, was touch that screen once. Look at it now. Oh. Fortunately. Okay, we have the open. That's so cheap, 1,500 going once, 1,500 going twice, fair, final warning. Who's got the open? Um, Mr. and Mrs. Hoover. Mr. and Mrs. Hoover? G. Yeah. All right, well that is sold to Mr. and Mrs. G. <laughs> Thank you. They love their Schofield. Yeah. All right, Ashley, I have one more Azule. He put it in his wheat shop? Meat. Meat. Yeah. Is he a butcher? Yeah, he's a okay. What do you want? That. You want this, one? this is one of my last Azule's, yeah. It takes two. I was on the air with Guillaume Agelet and uh, well, this is a redo of It Takes Two. Uh, when the original came out, 2014 or 15, and I'm just looking it over. Looks fine. Look, number one of one, La Vol de du Gou. Oh, this is, yeah, that's not true. What? Yes, double sign, and the second signature is for the horse's head that he put there. And Wilson, that horse's head is a remark drawn by Guillaume Agelet. Guillaume has had a very interesting life. He immigrated from Morocco to France. And when he was 13 in Paris, he ran away from home and kind of joined the circus. And uh, eventually went back home. And then he uh, immigrated to the United States. And Guillaume Agelet is the king of the line. He is, uh, when you see that list, President Reagan loved his stuff, so many. Comedian Jerry Lewis loved his stuff. Tell you what, let me do this. Uh, beautiful Schofield. I didn't drop it. It needed a little exercise. And I'm holding my mic. 
It takes 1749. Nine three. Yes. His hand laid gold leaf, and what's the number on this? Where he signed it, numbered it, Wilson. Is this one of one? One of one. I got it. I mean, the SpongeBob movie's a happy movie, right? I'm not going to start crying, am I? Because I saw a scary movie the other day. It was awful. Piranhas in 3D. Those little fish were hungry. <laughs> they really were. All right, I'll tell you what. This is 5200, I believe, in Print World Guide. 5,000 or 5,200. Here, guess what? Oh, look at that remark. He drew you a, a horse's head right there, and it's a one of one. I'll tell you what. 800 to open. $100 increments once we get it. Hand-laid copper leaf. It's, it's like gold and copper, copper leaf. Look at that. Look at that. Stunning. That's a large piece, too. Okay. All right. No open on this at 800. All right, well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change gears for a second. I have been staring at this all night. This is one of the pretty... Ow. No manual dexterity whatsoever. This was a painting that Michael Schofield painted in 2004. It is the best use of Midnight Blues. Look at this. He signed it on the back, dated it. This was his personal private archive. Look at those Midnight Blues. This is just unbelievable. Winter Nights, BC 2602. Michael gets 25000 for an original. This is absolutely one. Of, look at that, how he mixes the green. Where is that source of light, Wilson, that's re reflecting green on the water? Yeah, there's a light back there, or maybe the it's a moon out. I don't know. This is a twenty-five thousand dollar original, two six zero two. I don't have. I've known Michael a long time. He is a great, great, great painter. But when you see a picture like this, and it is 20, 36 by 36? A square. I know, you've been accused of that all your life, Wilson, even with the high heel shoes. Well, then actually, is it signed twice? Yes. Once for the piece. And once for the original, we have the open at 800. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's put that back up. 
that's copper leaf. That is copper leaf. Yeah. On this is, what is the number on the two? Five nine three. We have the eight hundred open, looking for nine. Eight hundred dollars. And I thank you all for watching me. Going once. Eight hundred dollars. Oh, that's cool with that copper leaf. Going twice. Fair, cheap but fair, and final warning, sold to Patty's customer. All right, Ashley, if that's your real name, move, move this aside. I don't know. Patty, have you ever seen her driver's license? Any, any, any proof of ID? Yes. On that last one, Ashley, the the frame that last one will make you guys a great deal. It's more of the shipping, but we'll work you a deal. Look at this, 2004. Yeah, you fixed it. All right, I got to move this over so the shot is centered. 2602. 2602. This is one of the all-time great Michael Schofields. Folks, this is 36 by 36. I've known him a long time, but he painted this piece 19 years ago. Look at that. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, this is why it's a $25,000 plus piece. He used to work for Hubs Historical. Uh, hang up showrooms would auction his pieces. That is a cool piece. I'm going to give you guys, I hope you're out there, because this is one of the greatest Schofields. I mean, they all are, but this was a collection of his archive work from 2004. Watch this. This is too cheap. Way too cheap. 2500 to open. That is a large Schofield. 36 by 36. It is a perfect Schofield. He's in the billion dollar Arm & Hammer collection. Oh, I love that piece. This is... Oh, look at that. What kind of green is that? What would you call those reflections? Limerick green? No, it's, 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 it's softer than that. It's just a beautiful green. Is that Ashley or Juliet? That's the sound that... Uh, I don't want to say, I don't know how accurate the exorcist was. All right, no open on this piece yet. All right, tell you what, I'm going to move this one over. Ashley, yes. hand me that landscape. I don't know what's going on with Michael. This was his archive collection. He's 76. He's stopped painting. He paints a few abstracts, but what is this? 2606. Look at that, folks. Signed Michael Schofield, painted in 2003. Like a what? Yeah. Yeah, here's what I'm going to do. 
Oh, look at that. Now, Michael Schofield, 76 years old, amazing guy. I'm going to throw you guys a bone on this. Look at this. 1800 to open. Oh, that is stunning. Signed on the front, signed on the back. Michael Schofield painted this in 2003, 20 years ago. That's too cheap. Yes, I have some coins, got some gold, got a lot of cool stuff here tonight. Oh, look at that. All right. Ashley, can you hand me that one? Because this one is so unique. Those colors are second to none. I'm just going to put that. 2607. Two, oh, look at that. That is one of the most colorful Michael Schofields. I have ever seen. List price twenty five thousand. Look at that. That's a perfect painting. Schofield painted this in two thousand and five. Only have a few more than you will have seen my entire inventory. And my, this was Michael's archival collection. I don't know if he, he I got a few abstracts, um, which he loves. What would you open this at, Ashley? Twenty two hundred. Oh, that's a great Why is it a great number? Two. Two. You were born on the second. Okay. So we could check that on a driver's license if you really had one. All right. Twenty two hundred to open. And what I'm going to do, folks, is show you there are only three or four other remaining Schofields. And I'm going to move on to some coins. And I'm going to move on to some abstracts. All right. Let's show them that one. Now. This was painted 21 years ago. 2605 Autumn's Glow. Autumn's Glow. Oh, I got a rare Zax here. I'll be showing that after I get done with the Schofields. Look at that. Ard Autumn's Glow. And BC 2602. That is that is a fantastic work. What is the size on this? It's 36 by 24. Did I get it right? All right, look at that. Yeah, 25,000. That's what Michael gets for his work. And Two six zero five autumn's glow.
And I thank you. Oh, look at that. Folks, that is one of the most remarkable Schofields at 2200 to open. Oh, my goodness. The Michael Schofield in the billion dollar Arm & Hammer collection. The Arm & Hammer collection has PhDs in art looking at all kinds of art, telling them what's worth what, what to buy, and they have a several Michael Schofields. He's also in the Library of Congress collection. He's in the Smithsonian Institute collection. And you are taking a look at this. Oh, this is a $25,000 painting. I'm going to open it at 2200 And I am going to move this aside and show you one more Schofield, Ashley. I'm ready. Springtime, B6, B, G, BC 2604. He panned this in either 22 or 02. Look at that, that boat. Did you go boating much, Wilson? Used to. What kind of boat did you go out in? Sailboat and powerboat. Were they both in one? <laughs> Good. Look at that limerick green. I have been to Ireland a long time ago. Is green green like that? Oh, that's it. Look at that. A little bit of an aurora, aurora borealis going on in the sky. Have you ever seen those before? Where did you see them? In what? In Minnesota, where I grew up. Yeah, I saw them in uh, White Horse in the Yukon. Yeah. All right, folks. You're talking of one of the great paintings by Michael Schofield. And that's all I got, and I got a funny feeling. There's a reason he sold me his archival collection. I have some abstracts, but call me. Let's work some deals. I have priced these so cheap. And can you hand me that one? Or did that sell? I just took that off. Yeah. You just took it. Mm -hmm. Well, can you give it back? You, want it back? you can't just take it. <laughs> Cleo says she loves your special paint. Well, who? Cleo. Cleo, thank you. I'm glad somebody appreciates it. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I have. Uh, I got a very strange dog. Ginger's doing fine. She loves the park. Problem is, Ginger will only do number two at the dog park, which is a mile and two blocks from my house. So when Ginger comes at me at 5.45 in the morning, nudging me, it's like, leave me be. Yeah, so... At five, at 6.05, she's at the dog park doing her business. All right. Folks, I have shown you all of these Schofields. I think there could be a reason I got them all. Maybe, I don't want to say it without, I don't want to get in trouble, but these are Michael's archives. Uh... Wilson, uh, Ashley, how can we show, how can people get a look at these? Because, watch out, Mr. Light. <laughs> you trying to show them all? I want to get a couple more. That one should have sold. I'm going to leave it up to Wilson. Call me up. They're all around 2,500. 
some 20, 200, call me, talk to me. The one Ashley has right now is one of the greatest Schofields I've ever seen. Uh, and it's on the one wall. Yeah, that's one of the greatest Schofields I've ever seen. Call me, work some deals. So I have one, two, and this is it. No more anywhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oil on canvas, landscape. I got a few abstract pieces, and that's it. I got seven. Call me. I'll work you guys some deals. I want to thank you for watching so far. I got some Zacks. I got some gold coins. Got some better date Morgan dollars, but just call me. I think the one on the wall is going to go first. Well, I might be wrong. I've been wrong. Call me. Tell me which Michael Schofield I will wheel and deal. Let me know which ones. You are, is that too low for you to get that picture? No. There's one. This right here is one of the coolest Schofields done in 05. I'm going to put it right over here, Wilson. I don't know how I'm going to put it right over here. All right, Ashley's going to hold it. All right. Call me. I want to make a deal. These are all of the Michael Schofields. These are pieces he has teased me with for years. All of a sudden, he sold them to me. Maybe, I hope he's all right. I got a funny feeling about it. He is 76, and uh, I don't know. But some of these I've been trying to buy for a long time. Some of these, like the, the one dated 02. Nah, the one on the wall there, but yeah, some of these he painted. 21 years ago. So, folks, give me a call if you are interested in a Michael Schofield. Which one of all of these is your favorite, Ashley? I would have to go with Calm Creek over there. Calm Creek. Which one is Calm? Calm Creek? Yes, available. I don't either. It's so beautiful. Stunning. You like Calm Creek. I like Rapid River. <laughs> now there is no Rapid River, but I like that one up against the wall, which I never compete with customers. But if the one that's right behind actually doesn't sell. That's going to be hanging in my house. Call me. I'll work some deals. Matter of fact, if you are interested in one of these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Schofields, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, they're reproducing. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you're interested in any of these eight traditional landscapes, I'm going to surprise the next person who calls says I'm interested. Because I have, uh, it's eight o'clock, I'm down to my last hour, and I am willing, just call me.
And if not, it's okay. No takers. All right. I am going to put them wherever you can, Ashley. I thought two or three would go and we'd have some room. No, some room. Not rum, room. <laughs> My accent. You're taking the little, the little one, concrete. Hi, Barry Chapel, coming to you live. And here's what I'm going to do. You're a mover and a shaker, huh? Now, Ashley has a huge commute to get to work here. Let me ask, Wilson, you know about her huge commute? Now, I just want to make sure. What is the city's name well, uh, around where you live? Uh, Beaumont. Beaumont. Now, do you still live in the state of California? Yes. Because you're on the freeway like 12 hours each way. <laughs> yes. You're right, I am. And because uh, there's a Beaumont, Georgia, there's a Beaumont, Texas. <laughs> this. This right here is a Zach's original. And I just want to show you on the back, it has a certificate of authenticity right there by Zach's. And I want to show you EM Zach's have been going crazy. They had an auction at. Uh, I'm trying to, wasn't Butterfields, it, here, hang on, I got it in my Zacks here, case, EM Zacks, he just had a huge auction in LA, what was it, art, art gallery that, uh, yeah, it was like in Malibu, it, they, I mean, it was an auction, pieces going for twelve, fifteen thousand smaller pieces, and he is an urban artist. And I just want to show you, like, oh, what is the name of that gallery? Oh, that what? It's here in L.A. Our Ventura area. It is a very famous auction house. Hang on, I, I, I had an article about it. And it is right, that's where he's in Art World News. Hang on, it's coming up. I will get it. Give me a second. He sold that R2 D2 for 12,000 with all the buyer's fees. Oh. Take a look at this right here. This is a $12,000 original. Um, if you ask your phone, say phone, list LA auction houses, it will come up. What'd they find? What? No. Oh, it will come to me. Tell you what, and Ashley, this is 2620. What's I'm going to. This is an original. 
this is yeah, it's like 12, 14,000. It's a one of a kind. Tell you what I'm going to do. 1500 to open on the EM Zax. And I am going to find it on my phone right now. Where EM Zax? It is a huge auction house. What? No, no, it's big, well named auction house. Uh, hang on. No. What? No, not Sotheby's. Um, I will tell you right now. Okay. All mail, current mail. No. It went nuts. Um, look at that, folks. You're looking at a $10,000 original by E.M. Zacks. He is dominating urban art. He is in so many auction houses, and it was just three, four weeks ago, every piece had an open, and they were just going for amazing money. You know, 10, 12, 14,000. I'm willing to open this at 1,500. That is Vincent Van Gogh. Julian's in Beverly Hills, yes. Julian's Auction House. Thank you. All right, do we got to have it on? This would go for 12 grand at Julian's or more. And I'm looking for 1500. Begging the question why, if it doesn't sell, do I not just take it straight and put it at Julian's Auction? Good question, Ashley. Because I don't compete with my customers. But this would be a good time to do it, but I'm still not going to do it. No open. Going once on an E.M. Zach's original collage. Not a 12000 like he was getting at Julian's auction house in L.A., and I think my piece is a lot nicer than the R2-D2. I've never even been able to watch the entire Star Wars movie. I fall asleep. I don't fall asleep with Vincent Van Gogh. I went to the, an art show at the Czech Republic where they had Van Gogh. But anyway, any, no open once, no open twice. Folks, take a look at this right here, Wilson. Those are two tougher date Morgan dollars. These are the 1891s. This is an MS63, which means it is brilliant uncirculated. It's all original or PCGS wooden graded. This is an 1891S. And look at that beautiful coin. Now, you look under above the D and O in dollar, you'll see a little S. That little S means it was struck in San Francisco in 1891. Now, 1991 would be 100, 2001 would be 110. 2011, 120, 122 years ago. They came out with a 2021 uh, Morgan dollar. And a lot of them grade proof for MS-70. And my question to you, Wilson, is if they're making it in 2021 with 2021 technology, and they only make X amount, how would one not be an MS-70? Well, these were mented, thrown in a canvas bag, put on a train, no quality control. The edge of one coin would pound the face of another. And this happens to be 
my 1891 O. So I got a New Orleans Mint and a San Francisco Mint. And I just want to show you some comps on how rare these are. Here is a top rate seller here. 1891 oh $1,495, which is so cheap, but I'll try and beat it on an 1891 oh in 6.3. And at $1,350 is an 1891S. Ashley, I want to make both these coins. I love Morgan dollars. I like Morgan dollars made before the turn of the century. I like Morgan dollars made in the 1800s. They made the Morgan dollar from 1878 to 1904, took a break and remade it the last year in 1921. Then in 2021, in actually 2022, they came out and started making them again. How they got around it is a whole big story, but I have these two BC 2586 and 2587. Take a look at these coins. Make people happy. Those are stunning. Those are as nice of 1891. Right. Now, so 86, look at that. 1891S. Look at that. I got a comp right here, top rated seller, $1,350. Top rated seller, $1,350 on the 91S right there. Tell you what I'm going to do. List, $1,350. What's this, Ashley? Are you sure that's my cost? Double check it because I want to make everybody happy. Is it a S, yes. My goodness. So, yeah, they want $1,400, $1,350, $1,500. My network has it. My Wednesday night show has it. And I'm at almost all the Long Beach shows, Patty. I spend a day there. I'll tell you, you won't see at the show. One of our competitors is in the same city. They never go to the show. Because people want to... Stop, Chapel. Stop when you're ahead. You can't find them. You can't chase them down. They're not there. But here's what I'm going to do on this. List price, $1,350. Is the list price. I'm going to give you guys a deal of a lifetime. Watch this. Ashley, this is too cheap. $500 to open. $100 increments once we get the open. That's an 1891S. It is a blazer of a blazer. I don't pick ugly coins. I've been on TV selling art and coins now for 32 years. That is a hard date to find. Uh, the, the last few 1891 S's and 63 I saw, they were technically 63, but they were part of the Lee sisters. You know what I'm talking about, Patty? Yeah. The Lee sisters? The 1891 S's I saw, that I saw two of them. One of them was uh, the, the least. You know what one of them was named? Ugh. Ugly. They were ugly coins. 
Well, that joke went over so good. Yeah. Yeah, right. Here's an 1891 O. BC 2587. Oh, look at that. New Orleans Mac coins are dull and opaque, not this one. Look at that. That is stunning. Now on the 1891 oh, what's All right, I'm going to even lower the O. Oh, I had it up for 11 on a watch this. $900 to open on an 1891-0 PCGS guarantee in MS63. <coughs> yeah, 900 and 500 depending on what what mint mark you want. Give me a call. Yes, I have gold coins. I got a lot of stuff. But I don't have a lot of time. Tell me which one you're interested in. Get me close. Call me up. Make me some offers. The 1891s are tough to get. Ashley, I'm going to move the Zacks away and watch this. This is one of my favorite Graham Stevensons. Um, which one? I got the open? Uh, so someone has already wants to open this at 300. That's rather low, but I'll take it. 300 to open, $100 increments. The late Graham Stevenson died a year and two days ago of a rare neurological disease. That is so cool. He is a winner of the Australian uh, Medal of the Order. It's the, uh, the Medal of the Order of Australia, the highest honor the government can give an artist or a civilian. Uh, this is item number, what's the item number on this? 606. 606. Yes, we have 300. I lowered it from five, we're opening it at three. We have three, anybody gonna make it four? That is one of the greatest Graham Stevenson. He will be missed. That is so cheap, folks, for Graham Stevenson. He was an artist artist. At the end, well, five years ago, his Put Some Color in Life was being broadcast in 17 different countries. He is so famous. $300 going once, way, way way too cheap three hundred dollars going twice fair and final warning all in all said that is sold Ashley here folks Anybody watching me, I am grateful for your business. I think this is one of the greatest Schofields Michael Schofield ever painted in his life. He painted this in 2004. I probably tried to buy it from him 10 times. All of a sudden, I don't know if it's a health issue or what, but some of his archival pieces... Uh, Winter Nights, BC 2602, 
he let me buy. And this is stunning. I'm going to do. I hope you're out there. This is one of the greatest paintings. Michael Schofield gets 25,000. At Hubs Historical, it was getting 40,000 a painting. If you want the great one of the greatest Michael Schofields I have ever 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 seen, there it is. It is a perfect painting. Arctic white, titanium white, those midnight blues. That could be sea foam green. You are right. Tell you what I'm going to do, folks. I hope you're out there. This is too cheap. Give this a good home. I want this painting too bad. That's why I got to sell it, Wilson. I don't compete with customers. A nice man, 20, I've been in the air. Uh, this is my 32nd year and I'm going to start my 33rd year in about 10 days. Uh, 15 days, he told me never compete with customers. I don't. I want this too much, and I'm not going to let myself compete. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lower this. We had this up at 3,500. Watch this. Ashley, if they're out there, now's the time. And give this a great home. This could be the greatest Schofield. He's in the billion-dollar Arm & Hammer collection. He's in the Smithsonian Institute. He's in the Library of Congress collection. This is too cheap. This is 36 by 36. Don't do it, Chapel. $2,000 to open. Susan, if you're out there. Mr. B, if you're out there. Melvin, if you're out there. This is the greatest Schofield I have come across. I've known him. For 25, 30 years. I want this piece, so I'm going to sell it to you cheaper than I can even buy it for. If you guys want it, give me a call. At 2000 that is 36 by 36. I can feel it. I'm getting a psychic sense that somebody's going to call. They're dialing right now. I'll make sure the lines are working. Who am I speaking with? Juliana, this is Romeo. <laughs> yes, this is Romeo. It's a little hard to talk to you because you buried me. Uh, now, anyway, thank you, Giuliani. The phones work. At $2,000, that is a steal. All right, I offered it up. I want this in the worst way. I will sleep well knowing I didn't compete with a customer. And I got to sell one more Schofield. Oh, I got some gold coins here. Folks, here. You know what? I got Morgans there. I got Art up there. Can't get an open at 2000 on this. That's crazy. Tell you what. Ashley, what is your favorite Schofield? Calm Creek? Yes. All right. I just put up 
the one that I want to compete with and I can't. I won't allow it for myself. Which one's Com Creek? The one you don't have. Okay. Well, it doesn't have the name on the back. 2568, paying 03. That is Ashley, favorite piece. Look at that. And I got to move this out of the way so we don't have what, Wilson? A clash. Have you ever seen the clash in person? Yes, I have. Really? Were they any good? They were amazing. All right. I never. The last time. What? How long ago was this? Early 80s. Early 80s. All right. Well, I don't want to clash with the clash. This is Ashley's favorite Schofield. Tell you what, it was paying 2003. I personally, that's a $25,000 Schofield. Watch this. How many viewers are watching me, Adrian? Because well, I'm, I, 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 I got I to gotta take some chances here. I'm running out of time. Start at zero. Start at zero. $250 increments. It's going to take 12 bids, 13 to break even, but start at zero. That is one of Michael Schofield's favorite pieces. He painted this over 20 years ago. It's Ashley's favorite piece. I'm starting at zero, $250 increments. No, you can't buy it, Ashley. Look at that. That is, it is a gorgeous Schofield. We are starting at zero. Look at that. That is Oil on Canvas by The Michael Schofield. Look at the... All right, I'm smart enough to take this and run like. What was Meat Loaf's old, old saying, Wilson? Like a bat out of hell. And that's what I'm going to do. When I was 15, I saw Sweet it's in concert. His, his, it's a ballroom blitz. His, his, it's a ballroom blitz. No open. All right, I'm running with this. I offered it. I've lost them. This is Ashley's favorite piece. See, that's what makes me different from the other networks. When I'm getting beat up, it's obvious. And I don't tell people, oh, it's so busy, all their lives are busy. They're not. They were earlier, but they're not now. And that's either my fault or your fault, Wilson. Whose fault do you think it is? It's mine. Sure. What is their first or last name or initial? Miss E. Miss D. All right, we have 250 bid. I can't buy this for 250. I couldn't buy this for Michael Schofield 25 years ago for 250. He's in the billion dollar Arm and Hammer collection. We're at $250 on a $25,000. You know, you see his work on a lot of the TV shows of the 70s, 80s, 90s. 500 has been bid. This is a $25,000. Sc 
Seven fifty has been bid. Yes, and this is Ashley's favorite piece. We are at seven hundred and fifty dollars. Ashley is verifying. Current bid is seven fifty from Miss D, and we're at seven fifty. This is a five twenty-five thousand dollars Schofield. What do they say, Ashley? They say. And Ashley's looking at her phone. Is that a yes, a no? What do they say? And who is it? Mr. 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 P. PB, well, Mr. PB, you need to be in on this. This is, I can't even buy this on a good day, bad day for that. I'm at, where am I at? I am at 750 looking for a thousand. Oh, well, 750 going once to a first time caller. Oh, they're getting luckier than lucky. 750 going once, going twice. Whose dumb idea was that? Mine, yeah, Patty's pointing at me. Sold. Congratulations. That's going to end the auction portion of Schofields tonight. Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you what I will show you. Can you, Ashley, can you hand me that piece over there? Yeah, that was Burt Reynolds, the late Burt Reynolds. He would buy R for me on TV. He would never call up and use Burt Reynolds, even though it was Burt Reynolds. He would use his agent's name and card. Yes. This right here is Douglas Hoffman. Burt Reynolds... Many, well, probably 20, 2006, seven, well, 2012, he would buy some art. This right here is called Satin Slippers. It was painted by Douglas Hoffman. It, it's a true Barbarian limestone lithograph that he painted or drew pastel to remark that girl sleeping at the bottom. This is a sold out rare edition by Douglas Hoffman, their 4500 imprint world guide. In addition to the image, you also get the remark that he drew and the knowledge that Burt Reynolds bought two of these. One, for his home on Sunset or somewhere in, in the Hollywood area, one for his Florida, Georgia, wherever it was, and we would have a guy named Jerry. We would frame him for him and deliver it. This is number nine of 250. It's in pretty good condition. Few paper rubs right there, which will erase. It's come right off, but there's a number, nine of 250. There's the original pastel Douglas Hoffman uh, pasteled on it. That's where he signed it. The rest is true lithography. No camera was used. It was done on one color at a time on Barvarian limestone. Probably 35, 40 colors. Uh, what is the item number on my last Douglas Hoffman? One, two, two. Two, five, three, five. Say that again. Two, five, three, five. Two, five, three, five. Say hey, to Karen. Well, camera two, uh, camera one, Wilson. What is her name? Pamela. Pamela. Hi, Pamela. Thank you very much for joining 
Primetime Shopping Network. My name is Barry Chapel, and thank you. You got a? Can I, I got a, Can I cuss on this program? You got a hell of a deal, a biblical place deal. She got a deal that people will fight for. Juliet, you know. Hey, Pamela, ask Juliet what she did to Romeo. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, take a look at this. And what does it say the retail is? 4700 Yeah, that was the last ad I saw. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Oh, beautiful. Like I said, Burt Reynolds bought so many Douglas Hoffmans for me. Watch this. I think I had a comp for 4700 in my Douglas Hoffman folder, which I didn't bring. Watch this, Ashley. $300 to open. $100 increments once we get the open. Don't fall down. Stay. I'm willing the paper. That is a true lithograph, not an off, offset lithograph, which is a poster. That is a true lithograph. I got comps all over the place at three and four thousand. It's the last one I have. It's the last one I have that Douglas Hoffman drew a remark on. And I'm looking for a three hundred dollar open, which is crazy money. Cheap crazy. No takers once. No takers twice. All right, I am going to do this. I'm going to move my mini to Pluto in love out of the way. Ashley, I'm going to do it right here, right now. I'm going to take a chance, which has not been good to me tonight, but fortunately, the demon... Your flashing TV has ended. <laughs> that means the bad luck. If you could move that, maybe put that. I'll move her. You'll move her. This was done. Is that 2001 or 21? This is 01, right? Let me just take a look. 01, yeah. Southern Ma Majestic. What is it? Southern Majesty. BC 2610. Talk about vivid oranges. This is a $25,000 Michael Schofield. And what I am going to do, do you sell any more of the Jake LaMotta checks or just? Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. Let me just show you. Hang on. It couldn't. Wilson, you've been standing here, right? You didn't see two Michael Schofield comps get up and walk right past you, did you? No? You would say, please stop, right? All right. There's my Oleg file, but I don't. Okay. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Hang on. I'm going to find it. It's got to be right here. Here. Oh, there they are. 
Look at that. Hubs Historical. Michael Schofield. $42,000. Here is Michael Schofield. Poplar Creek, Poplar Grove, 48,500. This is an original oil on canvas, painted 22 years ago. This is a picture of me in 2014 in St. Petersburg, Russia, holding up a Vladimir Putin poster that they were selling for 69 rubles framed. They can frame cheap in Russia, Ashley. Look at that. Uh, that's where I went to meet one of my, two of my artists, Sasha Basari and Misty Pavlov. And Arena Valkova, three of them. You got a $25,000 Schofield. I got good news and bad news, Wilson. Wilson, I got some good news and bad news for you. What would you like first? Bad news? The bad news. You got a day to live. That's the bad news. You want the good news? There ain't any. I should have told you yesterday. <laughs> Squeeze it. <laughs> All right. Look at those orange. This is a $25,000 Michael Schofield. I'm obviously selling the wrong art on the wrong night because this would go like that. Hang on. Like that. This is perfect painting. That's oil on canvas. This isn't an overpaint like other networks offer you where they take a photograph and paint 10 strokes of acrylic on it and the rest was already there on the canvas. No, he starts with a blank canvas and makes this. He said those, were, the, the, those, you, those gates used to be called slave gates. Because in the South, in plantations, uh, unfortunately, in the 1800s, slaves would make gates to separate property and other stuff. And he said he saw a lot of those when he would travel around in the South. You know, obviously, you know, he's talking about the 70s, the 60s. Tell you what I'm going to do. Don't hurt me too bad. Because the good news is somebody's calling me. Redondo Beach. I don't know who that was. Could have been my bank. <laughs> I don't know. Here's what I'm going to do. Oh, this hurts. Start at zero. $350 increments. I'm doing it, Patty. Patty's showing me disgust. I'm starting at zero. You got $25,000 Schofield. I only have 15 minutes left. If you ever wanted to get one of the most beautiful Michael Schofields, I'm not going to run away and hide and put a tape in like other networks. I'm here live. I think I am. Hang on. Yeah, pulse but faint. Thank you. Is that the open? 350 has been bid. Folks, don't miss this 
chance. I got a $25,000 Schofield with an array of orange that is unbelievable. And I'm sitting here at $350. That is not an overpaint. That is not a poster. That was not done with a camera. Michael did this with oil on canvas. It is stunning. I guess they could Google search that number, right? I just want to make sure. One bidder at This is one of the prettiest ones I got. 700. This is one of the prettiest Schofields. I'm virtually out now. I made a technical mistake, which means I gave you an awful show. And I thought I, I, did, I mean, I, he has sold all of his great works here. I mean, these were his archive collection that he would not give me. I'm only at $700. Now let me see if this really works. All right, I'm putting the number in. All right, that's the area code. I hear a phone ringing. Oh, that was Ashley. All right, hang on. Now I can't find my Google search. Go. All right. Advanced TV videos. I'm at seven hundred dollars. They're killing me. It's called advanced TV. Uh, they're not gonna. I'm at $700 on a $25,000 Michael Schofield. Even going to make this $10.50? This is crazy. I can't buy it for this. Any, yes. Anybody going to make this 1050 your color? Hang on, I'm setting up some gold coins. Give me a second. Here's what I got. Hang on. All right. I'm going to go with the the tried and true, not the French francs. So I'm going to go with the Helvetian Swiss. All right. Yeah, I got gold coins. This is an auction that has gone terribly wrong. Hey, I start things at zero. Helvetia. I'm at 700 looking for 1050. I can't buy a monumental Schofield like this for 1050, but you can tonight. All right. Oh, right. 
Right, who is that? Bob. Hey, don't we have something that said Bob on it? Yeah, we'll show that in a second. All right, I got to wrap this up. 700, it's going to hurt. 700, folks. Camera two. I'd like to thank the three people that possibly could still be watching me. At 700 on a Michael Schofield uh, archive collection. He painted this 21 years ago. 01, 2023, 20, 22 years ago. All in, all said. I hope so. Thank you. Done. That is gone. That hurt. All right. Let's show Bob's auto. Yeah. And folks, yes, there's some gold coins on the easel. This was painted by Michael Schofield in 2003. Yes. Bob's auto. Look at that. That's a watercolor by Michael Schofield. I'll give Bob a price he cannot believe. Does he like Bob's auto? And folks, these are Helvetian Swiss gold. There's 0.1867 pure. I'll get those numbers. Thank you. Let's do a wow. Yeah. Um, hey, well, hey, Ashley, what is the number of my 20 franc Swiss coins? Uh, right here, Wilson, we're going to. Those are Helvetia. 20 franc Swiss gold coins. Blindingly beautiful. They're from the 1920s, 30s. Uh, they have 0.1867 of a pure gold of ounce. So they're about a fifth of an ounce of gold. Hey, Ashley, what is the number, item number on my Swiss franc? Because I got about five of them. I'm running out of time. I want to make everybody happy. I got some French francs. I have these two eighteen nine. What's that? Five seven eight. Five seven eight. Two five seven eight. Two five seven eight. Tell you what, I'm going I'm to give some folks a great deal. I got four or five of them here. Uh, Helvetia Swiss francs. I got some French roosters, but I got these Helvetia Swiss francs. Hey, I'm going to do. $495. Those have saved more lives. People escaping in the Swiss francs. Give me a call. Also have 1891 Morgan dollars. I have a very abstract Schofield here. I have a Zach's. All right. Here's what I am going to do. Wilson, this is what a Russian Costco looks like. They seem very nice there. They smile, but you know the biggest problem with shopping 
in a Russian Costco. Do you know what it is, Patty? What? They speak Russian. I don't. <laughs> so, folks, I also have these 1891 Morgan dollars there. And I want to thank you. I have some Michael Schofields. I'm going to have a lot more. Got a few more Jake LaMotta signed checks. The Jake LaMotta, who died in 2017. The Jake LaMotta that the movie The Raging Bull was about. Give me a call if there's anything you have seen tonight that you would like to discuss, make an offer on. Give me a call. And I want to thank you for watching me. Wilson, I feel like I gave him a bad show tonight. Maybe it's my merchandise or something. It's my fault. Hey, just so you see... Yes. If you were flying around, if you were a fighter pilot for the United States, this was in your emergency kit. Three nine carat gold rings, a British sovereign, a French rooster, uh, and a couple other European. I see the British sovereign, Australian coin, and I see the French rooster coin there. Give me a call. Any last concerns, offers? I got four minutes. Folks, I am not just. Are you going to make a long show? Yes. Who's calling? I don't know. Let's see. The Long Beach Show. Probably June or July, July or August, let's see. But I will be, I go to all of them. But on the way? On the 1891s, I'll tell you what, we are in the ballpark. Let me talk to you. I'd love to do it, but gorgeous coins. Tell you what I can do. Can he come up? Four hundred dollars for both. That's two hundred each coin. My we're gonna we're gonna work a deal, Ashley. Patty, I'm not just desperate. What's the, he's got to come up because I paid more. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. What? You're more and they're yours and you got a deal of a lifetime. You really did with credit card fees and everything. I probably lost money. Yeah, because that, that is that is so cheap. Those are beautiful coins. What's that? Done. Oh, my goodness, I'm out of time. And uh, I want to thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much. Uh, my old cameraman from Yugoslavia, Costa Christi, Used to say, someday you get the bear, someday bear gets you. Bear got me today. I thank you for watching. And uh, Buford, don't kick that dog. Wilson's tired of you kicking the dog. Patty's madder than heck about you kicking the dog. Ashley, oh, I'll turn Ashley loose on you, Buford. So you guys have a great week. I'll be back next Wednesday night. Got all kinds of cool stuff coming in. 
Thank you. We shipped fast. And Wilson, are you going to be driving after drinking that much tonight during the show? Hey, we love you. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>